Hello everybody, it's Premier Gal here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Crumple Pop Audio Denoise plugin inside Adobe Premiere Pro 2017. Audio Denoise automatically removes microphone hiss, fan noise, and room noise with one simple drag and drop. I want to note that Crumple Pop's Audio Denoise is on sale for $79 from FX Factory. It is normally priced at $99. This $20 discount is only available through November 23rd and November 29th of 2016. I also want to note that I'm recording this tutorial with the Editor's Keys SL600 USB condenser microphone. You can get 10% off this mic using my special code PREMGAL17. See link below to purchase in the description box. So let's dive in. After you download the Audio Denoise plugin from FX Factory, open up Adobe Premiere Pro. You will notice that if you try to search for Audio Denoise under the effects panel, it will not appear. So in order to import it into Premiere Pro, you first need to go up to Premiere Pro Preferences and select Audio. Then hit the button that says Audio Plugin Manager. Press Scan for Plugins. Once it scans, make sure that the check mark next to Audio Denoise is enabled. Then you can press OK. So first let's create a new sequence with the clip that I want to denoise. Let me play the clip for you so you can hear the noise that I'm talking about. And so you'll notice that while it's recording, you don't see anything happening or recording directly into the timeline here in the sequence. It's just sort of this playhead moving. You will hear that this audio has a loud fan noise. This is coming from my laptop that was overworking in this scene. Pretty ugly, right? Rather than taking this clip into Audition to use the Noise Remover tool there, I can save time and headache by just applying the Audio Denoise plugin here in Premiere Pro. Simply search for the Crumple Pop Audio Denoise from the Effects panel. Then click and drag the plugin onto the clip. For best results, make sure the clip itself starts with about one to three seconds of the noise before the dialogue begins. This is kind of like a handle that provides sort of a map of what the noise is that it's trying to remove from the entire clip. So now I'm going to press play and you will already hear the difference. And so you'll notice that while it's recording, you don't see anything happening or recording directly into the... If you need to make any adjustments, simply go up to the effects controls. Open up the individual parameters and you will be able to adjust the strength of the audio denoise effect. You may need to reduce the strength a bit if the denoiser was too strong and started to add some distortion to your dialogue. And this is what the audio sounded like before I applied the effect. And so you'll notice that while it's recording, you don't see anything happening or recording. And this is what it sounds like after. And so you'll notice that while it's recording, you don't see anything happening or recording directly. In just seconds, I was able to remove that ugly fan noise, and you can too. Let me know how Crumple Pop works for you. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and take advantage of this holiday $20 discount. See you guys next time. Bye!